Good morning, everyone. It's the last day before we get home. We're swinging by home on our way to Estevan, Saskatchewan. I live in Southeast Manitoba. And I picked up this load of farm equipment from East Maline. Maline? That is Malini? East Maline, Illinois, which is Davenport, Iowa, on the Illinois side. We have about six or seven hours left to drive today yet. Like I was telling you yesterday, I'm very fortunate that for most of our, our lanes and our routes, I live pretty much right in the middle and I pass by home on every trip. Sometimes I stop in, sometimes I, I, I don't have time to stop in, other times like this when uh, it's a long weekend coming up and I can't deliver this freight until after the long weekend. Well, instead of waiting in my truck all weekend, I can just swing by home and wait there. It's, it's a good setup. That's where we're going to be. This freight has to be delivered. In Estevan, like I said, that's about six hours away from Winnipeg into the next province to the west in Saskatchewan. So I can leave like Monday afternoon even. I'll probably leave around Monday noon and get there Monday evening and I'll deliver Tuesday morning. And from there, we're going to stay busy the rest of the month. February is a short month already, and uh, we need to get the wheels turning a little bit faster in February to make the same living in less time. Uh, there's cars beside me, cars beside me. Nope, they let me in. Thank Three you. Three kilometers. Take CR7, CR75, Augusta. Gotta get back in that lane. I'm exiting right away. So I stayed in Clearwater, Minnesota last night. Just going down the road here to St. Cloud, Minnesota. It's about 10 miles. So grab us a coffee and make a beeline for home. I got almost a full tank of fuel still, so it's really cold. I don't want to run my tanks pretty low, but I want to get into Canada to fuel with Canadian fuel tonight. It's supposed to get down to minus 28 tonight while I have this truck parked and I don't want my fuel gelling up. Alexandria. Minnesota. It sounds so royal, you know? Alexandria. Princess Alexandria. Arrived at your destination on the left side. Pilot Travel Center number 134. 134. In Princess Alexandria. Her Royal Highness. Princess Alexandria. I don't know. It just sounds like a royal name to me. I don't know. Uh, probably just me. Where to park? Where to park? Where to park? I just want to park in front of the pumps. Oh, like all the pumps are closed. Wow. Okay. Well, I don't want to block the pumps, so I'll go find a parking spot. I'm gonna just park here for now, just for five minutes. You know what? Yeah, this parking lot's a big gong show again. Yeah, we're just gonna line ourselves up here along the curb and just run in, grab a coffee, run out. All right, this is a special circumstance because this is a special truck stop in Her Royal Highness Princess Alexandria. Hit the road! Are you sure about this, man? Someone might hit you. That would be devastating. It would be, yes. My greatest fear is being backed into or hit in a truck stop, but I don't see any Swift drivers around here anywhere, so I think we're okay. <laughs> Sorry, Swift. You just have that name for yourself. Everybody knows. Everybody knows.
really nice. This is something special. We're actually traveling with the wind. It's pushing us. We're just floating along, just gliding through here. Hardly using any fuel. I could probably put it in neutral and it would carry me all the way home. This is wonderful. This does not happen all the time. More often than not, I'm going against wind. So my plans have changed a little bit. Uh, I'm just taking this up to Winnipeg and another driver's gonna deliver it on Tuesday. I've got another load of lumber waiting in Winnipeg for me. That's taking me back down to Minnesota and then I have a load in Minnesota that's taking me to Vancouver, British Columbia, well, Surrey, but sort of the same thing. It's all the same to me, one big city. And that's a three day drive from Minnesota. So that's my next week. I gotta leave on Sunday instead of Monday now. So uh, one less day at home, but a lot more nickels in the bank. So we're going for it. We're gonna send it. I'm gonna book it home tonight. I'll be home tonight and tomorrow. Day after tomorrow is Sunday. Sunday morning we'll leave. Take that lumber down to Minnesota to deliver first thing Monday morning. And then rush over to our reload, get reloaded so that I can start booking it towards Vancouver. Because they want me in Vancouver 7 a.m. Thursday morning and it's a three-day drive. So it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. 7 a.m. Thursday morning I've got to be there. It's going to be a rushed week. It's going to be a money-making kind of week. Just got through customs. We're back in Canada. Entering Manitoba. In 400 meters, head to the left on Fort Selkirk Highway, Highway 75. Oh, and the scale's open. 300 meters, head to the left on Fort Selkirk Highway, Highway 75. I'd love to listen to you, Karen, but I can't. You'll see it up ahead here on the right-hand side. There's a white sign, amber flashing lights above it. That signals all truck drivers and commercial vehicles to go in for a little closer Continue look. on this road for 15 kilometers. Why do you? I know, I know, I want to keep going. Look at this sign right here on the right. Stop flashing, stop flashing. Ah! They're open. Doesn't look like they're doing inspections. I guess they're just looking our trucks over, making sure the freight's secured properly, making sure the lights work, making sure all our stickers are valid, plates are valid. Let's go say hello to the good people. MOT, Ministry of Transportation. Same thing as DOT in the States. There they, it's a department down there. Department of Transportation. Up here, it's a ministry. It makes it sound like a church ministry, you know? They're doing the work of the Lord here. Apparently. In 600 meters, turn right on 5th Street West. Karen definitely doesn't want to go anywhere near these people. I think she's an atheist. Sorry, we gotta go talk to the good ministry people, the good ministers. Well, maybe we don't gotta talk to them, but they wanna see us at least. They have a bunch of different names up here. Like in the US, it's just DOT, Department of Transportation. That's it. Coast to coast. Here it's like, we got the Ministry of Transportation, but they're also known as Motor Carrier Enforcement. In some provinces, they're known as Commercial Vehicle Safety Enforcement, I think. CVSE. This guy doesn't know how to work the scale. It says next axle, my friend, next axle. That means you put your next axle on the scale. There you go. See, that's a green light. That doesn't mean you stop. In 300 meters, keep to the right on King Street and then turn left in 50 meters. All right, I'm telling us next axle. I'm not nearly overweight, but they're gonna check all my stickers. Run them through their computers, I'm sure. Make sure everything is hunky-dory. And green light, green light, green light. Thank you very much. Didn't really want to talk to you either. So 
Let's get out of here. We have about an hour back to the yard. 200 meters. Keep to the right on King Street and then turn left and What are you meters. talking about? Not even close, Karen. Good try, though. We gotta drop this trailer, take all my equipment off of it. Leave just enough on there so that the wind doesn't blow anything off. And, uh, head on home. I'm gonna go find my next trailer. It should be in the yard already. I'm gonna throw my tarps on that, tie them down so I don't have to worry about taking my tarps all the way home. Still can't believe how wrong I was about this Flying J location. It is always dead here whenever I get here. I thought for sure this was the best. This is where I would have put one. I stop here every time. I don't know why no one else seems to. It's a perfect location, but everyone still wants to go to Headingley out in Winnipeg, you know? And it's always packed there. You can barely ever find parking. Everything is jam packed. You gotta walk way further to get to the building. We're at the Flying J in St. Agath, Manitoba. It's my favorite, actually, because it's in the perfect location. I guess just no one has really figured that out yet. We're gonna grab ourselves some fuel yet. We're gonna put some more conditioner in there just because it's supposed to get down to minus 30, minus 45 with the wind chill tonight. And I don't want my fuel doing anything funny while I'm parked for the weekend. I need it to start up for me Sunday morning.